Hey, I'm Robbie from Facts, Tips, and Tricks, and I just wanted to give you guys a little tip on the amateur. Um, I've noticed throughout my playing, I had a little time where I had really a lot of trouble with playing certain notes, uh, such as like G, because on saxophone, G is a weird note, and it has kind of like a polyphonic, harmonic-y squeak thing that happens if your amateur isn't perfect. And it happens a lot on tenor, and um, I had a friend that it ha the same thing happened when she was playing her alto. And so I figured out what it was, and so I shared it with her, and she started doing what I told her, and magically it stopped. So if you're having that problem, here's how to fix that harmonic squeak. So uh, most people, when they bite down on their mouthpiece, they bite mostly with their bottom jaw and their top jaw, and they just squeeze like an alligator. So they're just on their mouthpiece, and they're blowing, blowing, blowing. But their mouth is shaped like this. It's no side muscles, it, they're just biting down. So they're biting down as for their dear life, and they're not really using the side muscles that God gave you to play saxophone. So what you want to do is when you play saxophone, you basically want to make a duck face. It's very popular on the internet but it's applicable, applicable to saxophone. So what you want to do is make your mouth more like a circle grip. Okay, so in whenever you probably picked up something, you've realized that going like this isn't quite as strong as squeezing around it like this. So it's, it's a lot easier. It doesn't hurt your uh, lip as much when you play because you're not just biting straight through your lip. You're actually using all the muscles in your mouth to squeeze the reed. So what you've got to do is learn how to flex the side parts of your mouth and make it to where you're pulling in the sides of your mouth as you're push, or, uh, pushing up with your jaw. So I'll show you the difference between playing just with lateral grip, I'll call it, and circular grip. So this is lateral grip. <laughs> It's, it's a lot harder because you can't really get a good sound. It's not as focused and kind of meh. It doesn't sound too professional. But when you play with circular grip, you can get a lot more pressure and strength out of your mouth onto your reed with less effort. So it sounds great. <laughs> just a little thing, but it might just be what you need to get over that, that G squeak or whatever squeaks you're going through. And so that's, that's just a little thing I like to tell people that might help them with their tone a little bit. So try it out. See if it works for you.